Well-deserved celebration there in the clubhouse, and we think we know why it happened. This tweet coming from Dustin Nickerson, who's been on the show a couple of times here. What was the difference this year for the M's? Well, it was probably my two MLB Network appearances. I mean, <laughs> we shouldn't rule it out, right? Like, how about we make it three appearances as we welcome in comedian, former off-base panelist, and renowned Mariners fan Dustin Nickerson to the show. Dustin, thanks for joining us again. Congratulations. I heard that you actually texted one of our producers at like 2 a.m. and you're like, I need to get back on this show so that yep. the third oh appearance my gosh. will lead to oh. maybe, I don't know, a, a win in the first round here. So just take us through the home run on Friday. Where were you? How did it feel? Just yeah. give us all the deets. Do we still say deets? Unbelievable. Deets thing. First, first, I would have loved to be in studio, but my standard issue light blue sweatshirt did not make it uh, time. So. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Well played. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You needed to do nice, it. Nice Dustin, to meet nice you to meet you, by the way. I'm well, Anthony. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you. Low you, guys look, you guys look incredible. You fill it out a lot better than I would anyway. So. Well, Keith didn't um, get the memo, so you would have been perfect in his seat. <laughs> next time. Next time. Uh, Hopefully, you know, hopefully in a couple uh, division rounds against the Yankees. Who knows? I'll be in town. Um, oh, yes. So the um, it, so it was an unbelievable moment because uh, I was on stage uh, in, of all cities, Houston, where we uh, uh, not not big fans of the Houston Astros, as you might imagine. Um, and I was like checking updates over and over and over. And I walk off and the, I log onto Twitter and the first thing that I see is that Big Dumper is trending, <laughs> which is <laughs> <laughs> which is maybe the greatest baseball moment in history. Because not a, Cal Raleigh has maybe the best baseball name and the best baseball nickname. To in that moment, everything happened. Twenty-one years of pain. For context, the last time the Seattle Mariners made the playoffs, I was a sophomore in high school. And now I currently have a sophomore in high school. My oh, wow. son is a sophomore. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And he looked at me and he, like we talked, we were FaceTime and it was awesome. He's like, Dad, it's, you know, it's all, it's over. You know, the drought is over. It's got to feel so good. I bet it was totally worth it. The wait. And I was like, no, no, I would have loved if we would have made the playoffs eight, nine, 10, 11 times. <laughs> worth the wait. <laughs> It wasn't. I'm happy in this moment right now, but uh, it's. Uh, it was. It was so fun just to see you know everyone reacting and that like watching the players and the fans, the announcers. Awesome moment for the city. D Dustin, I got to go back to the big dumper. Uh, did you know that that was Cal's nickname? Because I, I, I didn't know, and when I saw it trending, out I was of like, context, that's not great. Well, listen. <laughs> first off, I mean, it is very, very hard to get any of you East Coast types to even talk about the Seattle Mariners. So <laughs> they've been all over the network all day, by the way. Yeah, good, good, and rightfully so, rightfully so. Uh, but yeah, the amongst Mariner fans, we knew that was kind of his nickname. Um, <laughs> But then to see it trending on Twitter, you're like, oh, man, people need context for this. Because <laughs> <Yes, we do. laughs> if you if you go on to uh, the Internet and just Google uh, Big Dumper, then you're, you better have your safe search on. Because you yeah. might... <laughs> Don't do it at work. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it at work. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have an HR meeting. It's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> That's good. Hey, so last time we had you on, you weren't so confident. You were a little hesitant, maybe on the fence. What are you talking about? What are you talking uh, about? We have, we have the film. We have the footage. Roll that. Is this the year that you guys finally... No. No. Of course. <laughs> I mean, drought, statistically you're... speaking, no. Of course not. I mean, this isn't like the first you time we've believe? had a good team since 2001. <laughs> We've that been pretty back. good. There's a difference between hope and belief, though, right? Ooh. Do I think it's going to happen? Again, we're getting kind of philosophical here. This I like is, all yeah, the center. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Do I hope it happens? You better believe it. <laughs> so, you weren't even on the fence, actually. You pretty much were no. Um, yeah. And it happened. Uh, it was a hard no. <laughs> listen, I have, uh, even with my enormous ego, I uh, am so happy to be wrong. What a moment. <laughs> what a moment to get to celebrate being wrong. Uh, you know, there was so much pain there, so much like, because we have been so close. And that's you even like you feel for the Seegers and the Felixes, the guys who were in these long, long droughts and stuff that we had, just where we would get close, would get close. But 
you know, hands up the organization, they're rebuilding. And, uh, you know, thankfully we have players like Julio, but more importantly, thankfully you guys are having me on the network. Cause this really is the difference maker. This uh, and the Mina Khan's first little pitch. Bump, yeah. Bump. Yeah. <laughs> Dustin, yeah. We're getting it. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. Uh, fandom, fandom's a crazy thing. And I, I love what you're saying there about, uh, you know, just uh, you could tell the emotion that you've been through throughout your time as a Mariners fan. So I want to go back. I, I don't know you that well. This is the first time we've met and you've already commented on on what X and I are, are wearing today. So <laughs> I'll get straight into uh, like, where did your fandom, where did your Seattle Mariners fandom come from? What were the teams? What were the players that you grew up with? And and take me through you. I mean, you talked about your sophomore year of high school. That was the last time they were in the playoffs. Like, I don't know this story, so I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so I grew up a uh, South Seattle kid, Tacoma, Federal Way, kind of that area. And in the 90s, which is probably the most iconic time, not just in Seattle sports history, but in Seattle history, right? It's the grunge music era. It's big. It's popular. And then we've got, uh, you, we've got the Sonics. It's like a pretty bumping time. There's Starbucks, Microsoft growing. It's a huge time in the 90s. And and in the middle of that comes when I'm like 10, 11, 12 years old, that reign of the 95 Mariners, which people liked the Mariners. Don't get me wrong. People liked the Mariners. But in 95, people fell in love with the Mariners. That was the refuse to lose. That was the you got to love these guys. That was the 20 games back at the All-Star break and Edgar and Buner and Griffey, the double, the most iconic moments in you know seattle uh, or seattle sports history uh, certainly up to that point so it just took the city by storm and we've been huge fans and that was like this amazing era where you had all these stars these future hall of famers coming through tons of hope 2001 each year comes in rookie of the year build the new stadium or and the mvp we're thinking this is the future and then nothing for 21 more years <laughs> so it's uh it, there's bits of pain but it's rooted in that those who have been fans for a long time we do have these like old magical moments of of memories of like well this this history is here i mean that series you know against uh the yankees keith uh, <laughs> is, uh i know it it's way it's 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 it, i mean there's literally statues outside of t-mobile park you know commemorate that so uh so yeah, it's uh, it's it's deep rooted in there, even even with some pain and some trauma. And you're celebrating all of that pain, trauma, and uh, the good memories, of course, with your T-shirt. What's going on there, real quick, before we get yeah, to oh yeah, this cool. is a little throwback. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, Griffey rookie card here. Nice. Big fan. I, uh, yeah, I uh, I recorded my second comedy special last night here in Dallas, and uh, of course, I'm wearing this on stage with oh. a flannel because again. Seattle baby so that I did just reveal that it <laughs> smells a and little. are you really uh, a comedian <laughs> if you're not wearing flannel you're certainly not a comedian from Seattle <laughs> that's uh, very true you know, that's kind of a standard issued uniform so. Wait, I love Justin, that. did you celebrate did you pop bottles what did you do to you know kind of celebrate the them club. Up? well you know there's a chance my kids will see this appearance uh, <laughs> so let's just say I don't remember a lot <laughs> is that <laughs> <laughs> Very well oh, said. Dude, the, the Mariners won the next day, by the way. So whatever they have for a hangover cure, that needs to be on the market immediately. They won yes. the next day in a day game. That's baseball. Sorry, I don't know if we're allowed to talk. That's baseball. You, you're 100% <laughs> allowed to talk about it, especially on this show. Uh, obviously, we've yeah. been stalking your Twitter account. You also tweeted out that you were most happy for Mariners radio announcer Rick Riz, who had an epic call on that walk-off homer. It went viral. So let's listen to it real quick. Here's the stretch. The 3-2 pitch, swing and a drive, deep to right field, stay fair, holy smokes, he did it, off the hit it air cafe, Cal Raleigh with a walk-off home run, how sweet it is, the Mariners end the 20-year drought on a walk-off home run by Cal Raleigh. I mean, the pass is so evident not only just when you listen to the call but then you see his reaction because I mean he's been there through the thick and a lot of the thin of course so what made you so happy for him and how, how do you think well, he kind of embodied the average M's fan yeah I mean Rick Riz is I mean Seattle 
lore. Uh, we you couldn't love Rick Riz more as a Seattleite. The because he was very famously uh, the color guy next to Dave Niehaus, uh, who the famous Seattle broadcaster for years and years, and sat next to him, and they were wonderful and beautiful. And then when Niehaus passed, he took over the role, and he's just been kind of in that long suffering role with us with us with us but even more so because that guy calls the games every day that yeah. here's you you could hear it how sweet it is this is when i watched that emotionally a few times and rick riz has a signature home run call bye bye baseball he says that whatever home run is hit and he he was so caught up in the moment he didn't even say his phrase i kept waiting for it <laughs> to happen but he was just so overflowing with the remotion and honestly probably relief i mean that there's a lot of long summers calling you know those mariners games where they're out of it early or, or a lot of heartbreak so i you can't i'm happy for the players of course but guys who've been in it for that long you just get so you know that job's a lot more fun when your team is winning so i'm happy yeah, for rick absolutely Riz. i've been on both sides and it's a yeah. lot more fun uh congratulations to you to obviously the m's to everybody but everyone in seattle enjoy the ride uh dustin i don't know how many more times we need to have you on in order for your team to make it to the world series but we'll do Ooh. our best i am available as i need to be Fantastic. Next oh, yeah. time we'll get you in wait. studio Thank and you. we'll make sure you guys oh. all coordinate. And, and we'll uh, send you a powder we... blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll and where sure can we check out your comedy it looks special? Great. You guys are in such good shape. I would never match you. I'd feel so good. Well, there's a you gym across great. the hall, so you guys can all go get Oh, that's all yes. it takes. Just one. Just, just one. A quick just one. Exactly that's all. It. Maybe like 15 minutes. Body by okay, X and Rack and Keith here. I want nothing to do with that. I'm more of a Pilates girl.